Hey there, so I just want to show a few little things you can do when you are in Blackboard and you are uh, sharing links or content or the like. So uh, I'm just going to put in here, you know, something like uh, video on article analysis. So say it's something, I say I'm sharing a link and it's a video on the article analysis. If I want to hyperlink that, I'm just going to highlight and then come right up here to the little insert edit link. And what I'm going to do then is just put it right here where you see link path. And so once I put it in there, the other thing I want to do is uh, for the target, I tend to want to do open a new window. So this is going to open it in a new tab so that I don't have to leave the Blackboard environment. I hit insert. And now I know it's an actual link because it has that traditional underline to it. Now, if I'm dealing with videos, especially from YouTube, uh, there's a couple other ways I could do this. I can come over onto, again, this little HTML editor chart where I can do all sorts of things. I can boldface and italicize and align and all that, but I can also... Uh, embed a YouTube video and I can do that by clicking on this little link right here it looks like the play button on a film reel so when I select that it gives me a very similar screen to the one I just saw but it is a little bit different so I have type up here and I have file URL so so here I'm gonna put that link again and now when I click off to the side so it can kinda of process it and figure out where the link is notice it pulls up the video right here it shows me what it looks like I can change the dimensions I will often do 400 and when I put 400 and then I just move the cursor over here it automatically changes it to 300 uh, that's just a little bit bigger so this looks great and if I want I can insert it and now it is here. I'm not going to see it here in this HTML editor, but when I hit post, uh, I will be able to see it. Now, there's one other thing I can do here, and now there's one other thing I can do, which is go to the mashups and click on the little uh, this little triangle next to it, which is called a chevron. And when I click on that, come down to YouTube video. Again, I'll select that. And here I'll get another search engine. So I'm going to put in, actually it's already there at the top, how to find an academic article. I'm going to hit go. And so it's going to provide a lot of different results. Now, it may not be the video that I created, so I might need to refine this search somehow. Um, here's one. Actually, this is the one that I've created, right? So it's how to create it, how to find an academic article. And I have my name in the description. It was created or added on the uh, 20, January 28th, 2019. Perfect. So I will select that. And it gives me this little prompt screen so I can adjust the title if need be. Uh, and it asks me down here, do I want it as a thumbnail, a text link with player, or embedded video? Uh, I sometimes like the embedded, I, I tend to like the thumbnail. Uh, and then I'll also make sure to show the URL just to make sure that if a student, you know, if for some reason it doesn't play, students have that URL. All right, so then I just hit submit, and now you see this is what it'll end up looking like. So now we have three different ways of of link of getting to that video. Uh, but the important thing primarily is definitely knowing how to link things. And anytime you're gonna include a link to make sure you hyperlink it uh, so that people don't have to copy and paste it into, uh, or copy it and then paste it into a, uh, a new tab. So hopefully that's useful. Uh, let me know if you have questions. Thank you.